Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and today's video is about the free transform tool, which is under your flyout for your for your shape tool. So that's what you normally look like. And if you click on the flyout and you go down to this free hand or free form shape tool, rotate, skew, mirror, and scale object. It is pretty neat. I've only used it a couple of times, but I've got it on scaling right now. And I've got it where I can scale from anywhere. You know, depending where your mouse is, is where you're going to scale it from. Now you can click on this, which is scale from relative object. So it'll scale from that point. And the reason this would be important, if you had a, a line you wanted to scale to from there, it's actually going to scale my, uh, probably going to yeah, see it scaled my, uh, my guidelines. So let's take that guideline away. But if you had a something that you needed to be from that corner, you could scale it and move it. Go back to, so scale from relative position. See, you're scaling from that corner, no matter what you do with the mouse. Uh, the other thing you could do is uh, there's a bunch of rotation and, you know, but you can rotate it. It's pretty much anywhere. But if you're on this transform, you can do this and it's applied to a duplicate. So anything you do applies only to a duplicate and leaves the original there. I don't really see the advantage of that, but uh, there evidently is and it's kind of neat to play with. Um, let's get rid of this right quick. Get back to a square box, get on our tool. You could scale it, but scaling to me is not that good because it's just, um, you know, you don't really know the size and it'll tell you the size you made it, but it's a lot easier to scale. And I've also got duplicate. So it, I've taken away or I did, did something the original and, or the duplicate and not the other one. Um, mirror and rotate. Rotate is pretty cool because you can rotate from different parts. You could rotate from this edge. See, I'm rotating from where my mouse started. Or I can rotate from the mouse started at this corner. I've used this several times. You know, if you just wanted to try something, you go, well, let's, see, let's see how it looks. And this would be a good one. You could do a duplicate and it would scale it from that corner. Then it would scale it from that corner. So yeah, it's, it's actually scaling the second one from there. Anyway, it's not that big of a tool for me, but uh, you might have fun playing around with it. Hope helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.